Hi, in this video, you will learn how to create this cause and effect diagram. As you can see, we have one central cause and we have multiple effects. In this diagram, we are showcasing eight different effects from the central cause. The best part about creating this diagram is you will learn a lot of simple yet very important tricks to help you create neat looking diagrams. I will include this template as part of our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. If you already own this bundle, then you can download it for free. If not, the link to the bundle is in the description box below the video. It is a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates to help you make beautiful and engaging presentations. By the way, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. The first step is to go to shapes, pick up the line tool. You can find that under lines here. Then hold the shift button down and draw a line like so. And then you can have it as thick as you want. It is just for our reference. Then let us have this rotate by 45 degrees. So when you go to the shape format, you can go to rotate option here. Go to more rotation options and choose the rotation angle of 45 degrees and hit enter. From this point, we are going to add three more lines. Each line will have an incremental 30 degrees. Let me show you what I mean by this. Let us select this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. We are going to add 30 degrees to this, which means 75 degrees. Hit enter. Let us select this and create a duplicate. Go to size and properties and this time let us add another 30 degrees, which means 105 degrees. And let us create a duplicate and add another 30 degrees, which is 135 degrees. Now let us select all of these lines and add a line center and a line middle. Let us press Ctrl G to create a group. Now we are going to have this as our guiding factor to draw lines over this and create our actual diagram. Draw a line by going to shapes and by choosing the lines tool. Let us click on the center point and then draw a line till this and let us have this as red color and let us increase the weight of this to three points. Let us go to animations and say to wipe from left. So that is how it is going to enter the scene. Excellent. Let us select this, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. Let us have this as the starting point, which is the center point here. And then let us have this as our end point. Let us press Ctrl D again. So we are going to repeat this till we have the lines for each of these spokes of the wheel. Now, when I go to animation pane, you can see that we already have all the animations in place. Now, if I go to slideshow, you will notice that this is how the animation happens. You can see that we have the lines coming in quite nicely. But in the next case, you can see that the line is moving from the opposite direction, which means for these, we need to change the direction of the wipe. So let us select five till eight and then change the effect options to from right. Now we have got our animations in place. Now we no longer require the guide that we had at the start. Let us select this group and delete it. And this is how the animation will happen. And it looks quite nice. Now let us start with the circles that come after the line gets animated. So let us go to shapes and then go to the oval shape. You can go to basic shapes and you can have the oval selected from here as well. Hold the shift button down and draw a circle like so. This is going to be our number placeholder. So I'm going to write number one here. I can choose a much thicker font for this. Let us choose two cent empty condensed extra bold and have it really big like this. And I can choose a color of my choice. Maybe I can choose this color. And then let us go to shape outline and say white outline. Go to shape effects, go to shadow and we can have this kind of a shadow here. That looks nice. Now we're going to create a shape that holds the text, which is our label. So let us go to shapes once again, go to re rounded rectangle option from rectangles and then draw a rounded rectangle like so. I can click on this yellow handle and move it to the center so I can create a full curvature. Make sure that the diameter of this and the height of this are the same. So in this case, let us go to shape format. You can see that the diameter is 1.85 centimeters. So let us select this and you can see that this is also of 1.85 centimeters of height. Perfect match. So here we are going to place this right click and send this to back. And for this one, we are going to use a light red color. 
Now we're going to write our text here and we're going to use a simple text box tool from AutoShapes Gallery and let us say your text here and let us increase the font size of this to 20 and I'm going to place this over here. Now let us select this and the underlying shape and press Ctrl G to create a group. Now let us send this to back and here we have the number and the corresponding label. All it requires for us to do is to have them animated and then place them exactly to match the tip of the line. Now it is easier said than done. How is it possible to align this circle exactly to the center point of this line so everything animates perfectly? Here is the second trick that I want to teach. The first trick was to create the grid so that we can get these angles in place. The second trick is to use crosshairs. Let me show you what that trick is. Let me create a duplicate of this and I'm going to create a dummy piece here. Let us go to shape fill. I don't really require any fill for this. I don't even require the line for this. Let us have the shape outline as black so we can clearly see what we got here and let us not even have the shadow here. To create the crosshairs, I'm going to connect the center points of the circle. Let us go to shapes and pick up the line tool and then connect the top one to the bottom connector point and let us have this with black color so it's easier for us to see the same way let us pick up another line and connect the left edge to the right edge with the line and let us choose the same black color now this is the crosshairs and let us press ctrl g to create a group and then we are going to ensure that the center point of this crosshair circle exactly matches with the tip of the line can you see here this is how we ensure that all these circles are perfectly aligned. I'm going to press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and here is the placement and press Ctrl D and place this exactly where it belongs. Now these elements that we drew just now are going to serve as the guide for us to place these number placeholders properly. Let us animate these elements before we create duplicates. Otherwise you may have to create animations for every one of these events later on. So I'm going to first take this piece, the rounded rectangular piece, and I'm going to place this so you can see that it perfectly matches. I'm going to use animations and say this is going to wipe from left and this happens after previous. So that is the animation. Let us go to animation pane so you can see that this is the animation that we used. Now when I make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D you can see that we already have an animation attached to this. Press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then place it right exactly where we have the guidance and we can have all of these sent to back as well. Let us take a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D. Make sure that it aligns with the right edge because this is going to animate from this side and let us move this one to the left edge so there is enough space for the number placeholder here let us make a copy of this by pressing ctrl d and then make sure that it is all placed properly now like the way that we did earlier we are going to have the direction of wipe to be from right in these cases so let us select these elements and then go to animations and change the effect options from left to from right so that is how the animation is going to happen so we have got all these animations done now once again we are going to have these elements sent to back now let us select this number placeholder move it to the center point and then have it move from here to here let us go to lines and then as you can see this is the default direction we are going to have the end point to match this placeholder here and this is going to be for a duration of just one second and let us go to the effect options and have a little bit of a bounce end and we say okay so that is how it goes from the center to this point so we are going to have this move right up after the first connector so this is the first straight connector now this happens with previous so let us go to with previous and we are going to reduce the duration of this one from 1 second to 0.75 seconds. So there is a proper coordination between the various elements. When you see here, this is how the circle moves from here to this point and then we have the line animating. And right after that we are going to have this wipe from left. So we already have that animation. So we are going to move this up. 
since we already have after previous to this one this whole set forms this kind of an animation and it looks really beautiful once you have one done it is quite easy for the remaining ones to be done let us press ctrl d now we are going to change this to number two and we are going to keep this right in the center and we are going to use that end position to move to this place and let us move this right next to the second straight connector and we have the corresponding label moved right next to it again let us create a duplicate of this by pressing ctrl d we are going to change this to number three let us place this in the center and move the end point to correspond with this circle here and then move this right next to the third one and then the corresponding label So we have completed the routine for all eight circles. Let us go to slideshow and see what we have done. We can see that all the numbers are right in the center. On a click we have number one and number two, number three, number four, number five. Now we need to cover this with the central cos. So let us go to home and that's a very simple thing. Go to shapes, go to the oval tool from basic shapes, draw a large circle like so. Make sure that it is right in the center and then you can write your text by going to edit text and say your text here and let us increase the size of this and change it to a much bolder font. So that will be our cause and we can have a different color and have the shape outline as white outline go to shape effects if required you can even add a preset like uh, say this one we don't really require this set that we had created earlier so when i select this you can see that we have this group we can just delete this and now when i go to slideshow this is how the diagram looks on a click we can have the first one the second one third one the fourth one fifth sixth seventh eighth shown isn't that a beautiful diagram as you can see creating these diagrams requires a lot of time patience and skill if you don't have that kind of time patience and skill you can always go in for our comprehensive all-in-one powerpoint bundle let me show you some templates from our comprehensive all-in-one bundle where we created different types of cause effect diagrams these are just a few samples Normally, when you hear about cause effect diagram, the visual that is shown is this Ishikawa diagram or fishbone diagram. I'm going to show you how you can visualize cause effect in different ways and it can be pretty versatile. For example, I can keep everything simple. I can have cause written here and we have a hand that points the eyes to effect one and then we have two effects shown like this. Here we are going to visualize three ideas coming from a core idea. On a click we have the core idea leading to idea 1 and you can write your text here and the idea 2 coming from the core idea and the idea 3 coming from the core idea. Another example is this one where we show two causes and one effect. This is a beautiful animation where we show text about source 1 and source 2 and they both combine to create an outcome like this. Isn't that beautiful? There are so many more cause effect diagrams in comprehensive all-in-one bundle and each of the templates is unique. You will not find these kind of rich animated PowerPoint templates which are all unique in one bundle. If you are a professional who needs to make presentations as part of your profession, then comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle can be a useful resource for you. The link is in the description box below the video. If you want to learn another animation tutorial, you can always click on the link here. If you want to join our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas free 5 day email mini training, you can click on the link here. I share 25 useful PowerPoint ideas you can start using in your next business presentation. So click on the link, join our free e-course and I will see you inside.